Hello students, today in your geometry class we're going to be working on proportions and triangles. So let's look at a couple definitions or a couple theorems and corollaries. So first of all is the side splitter theorem. It says if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides then it divides the sides proportionally. So we'll look at what an example of that looks like in just a sec. Theorem 7.5 states that states that if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle then it divides the opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle and lastly corollary to theorem 7-4 it says that if three parallel lines intersect two transversals then the segments intercepted on the transversal transversals are proportional so if we look at the image on the right, it's really just saying A divided by B is equal to C divided by D. So that fastest and easiest way to look at this really is just to look at the picture. And if we're trying to solve for a specific thing, we just make it a fraction like so and put an equal sign in between and you have your proportions. So to demonstrate the side splitter theorem, this is what it looks like just like this first example. We have a triangle where two lines are parallel to one another. That means that these two sides are proportional. Now because this first example is the side splitter theorem, it also comes with that corollary where if the two lines are parallel, then what we really need to do is just create the two proportions. And the way we do that is, again, we do the two fraction bars and an equal sign in between and that's it. So the way we do that is x plus 4 divided by 2x is equal to 9 twelfths and then we take the cross product so 12 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 18x we get 12x plus 48 equals 18x. Subtract 12x to both sides. Get 48 is equal to 6x. And x is equal to 8. The second example is based off of theorem 7-5. Now notice how this line segment in blue bisects that angle. So all we really need to do here is set up the proportions, which is fairly similar. We say this is equal to this and put the equal sign in between. So 5 thirds equals 8 divided by x. We get 5x equals 24. x equals 24 fifths. Example 3, same exact idea. We just need to be careful of the 6 taking up the whole base. So, really what we're looking at again is 6 divided by x equal to 4 divided by 6 minus x because notice we want just the right side and the right side is whatever's left over once you subtract x from 6 so we're going to take the cross product again so 4x is equal to 6 times the quantity 6 minus x 4x equals 36 minus 6x. You get 10x equals 36, and x equals 36 tenths, or 18 fifths. Example 4 should be pretty easy at this point. It is 4 divided by 6 equals. 5 divided by x, take the cross product, we get 4x equals 30, x equals 30 fourths, 
which is the same thing as 15 halves. Now it's your turn. Try to solve these three problems. First we'll post, everyone else will just reply. That's all for now. See you guys next time.